What's up people of the interweb, I'm back once again with another easy tutorial on how to play DS games on your Wii U. To do this you will need the following, access to the internet via your computer, an SD card, and last but not least an internet enabled Wii U with firmware 5.5.1. So as always, the first thing I want you to do is pause the video and head to the download link in the description below. When opened, right click on DS on Wii U.zip, select save link as, and save it to your desktop. Done. Great. Now just right click on the downloaded file, extract it to DS on Wii U and open it. Here you'll be greeted by a folder called Wii U and an application called NDS2 Wii U.exe. So just grab your SD card, put it in your PC and we'll begin. If you followed any of my previous tutorials you may have some of these files already on your SD card, but fear not, we will copy them and more over again in this one. If you are new to my channel, welcome and feel free to check out any of my previous tutorials now or when you finish watching this one. Your first step is to copy the entire Wii U folder from the DS and Wii U folder you just downloaded to the root of your SD card. If similar files are already present, the SD card will prompt you to replace them. Simply click OK to continue and when complete we turn our attentions to NDS2 Wii U.exe and open it. By pressing open in the top address bar you can navigate to one of your downloaded DS ROM backups and open it. Then using the lower address bar, select the directory where you'd like the new files to be outputted to. I selected the desktop here as it's the most convenient. And finally, press inject. When completed, the green screen and the Wii U pad in the application displays the word done. Now you must find your outputted folder, right click in it and select rename. This is a very important step and must be done for your backups to work correctly in your Wii U. After the game's title, leave a space and then type square bracket, four capital letters of your choice, it can be absolutely anything, and then two numbers of your choice, directly followed by a closing square bracket. I'd recommend using a decent naming scheme however. I normally use the first four letters of the game's title and 01. If there's another game in the series, simply use 02. All entries in the square brackets need to be different for your Wii U to read them correctly, but only the game's title is displayed when selecting the game. This process can be completed for as little or as many backups as you desire. When you're done, move back over to your Wii U SD card, open the Wii U folder and create a new folder called Games. Now simply copy over your backups you've injected, safely remove your SD card and pop it back in your Wii U. Over on the Wii U we turn our attention to the internet browser. Open it and enter the following, http colon slash slash loadin .ovh. It's worth bookmarking this address as you'll have to use it again in the future. When the page is loaded, use a default selection on screen and press submit. This could take a couple of seconds to load, but when it does you'll need to enter the Homebrew app and update it. So click Homebrew App Store, touch anywhere to continue as shown, select Homebrew Launcher and update it. When done, press the home button on your Wii U joypad to reset the updated app. Now if we re-enter it, we are greeted with a whole new selection of applications, games, emulators and more. I've covered how to set up quite a few of them previously in another tutorial, so feel free to look back over that if you'd like help setting up them also. Now we must press the home button again to back out and get ready to play our DS games on our Wii U. From here we press and load Loading GX2. Now we see the DS backups we put in our games folder. Select your desired game, press A and then A once more to load it. Depending on the title, this could take a little bit of time, but when it loads, press A once more to continue. And there you have it, DS games on your Wii U. You can even press ZR during gameplay to bring up the handy virtual console menu. This allows you to reset the game, create a restore or save point, or my favourite, change the screen settings. There are many to choose from and all will be displayed on screen, but my favourite is the large screen display with your TV now being the DS top screen and the gamepad now solely used as the touch screen, but feel free to experiment and see what suits you best. That's all for this tutorial, thanks for watching!